Hi guys, let's see in this video how easy it is to take the data from a JSON file and display them in an HTML table. Let's take a look first at the JSON file. In that file I have six objects. Every object is a product and has an ID, an image property that points to the product's image, which image is stored in the product images folder, a name, a price, an inventory, and a product code. And as I said, I have six of them in the file. Also have an index.php file in which we will display those products inside a table. Let's take a look at the structure of the table. The table is divided in two sections. We have the head and the body. In the head inside a table row we have the table's headers. But as you can see the table's body is empty. That is because we are going to use PHP to populate the table's body with the products from the JSON file. I have also a CSS file that applies a basic styling to the table. Ok, let's get those products. To fetch the products from the JSON file, I will go to the top of the file and open PHP tags to write PHP. Next I will use an if statement to check if the products.json file exists. Next I will use the file get contents function to fetch the data from the JSON file and store them in a variable named JSON data. Next I will decode the JSON data to an array named products. The keyword true tells the JSON decode function to return an array. If I omit it, the function will return an object. But let's work with an array. Next I will scroll to the table body and open PHP tags. Now I will use a for each function to loop through the products array to get the products. I will escape PHP to write HTML code. I will create a table row element and inside a table cell. This is the first table cell, so I will display the image in it. Now I will set the source attribute to the image path. In the next table cell I will echo the product's name. Next I will echo the product's price. The next value that I will echo is the product's product code. And in the last table cell I will display the product's inventory value. And that's all the code that we need. Now I will reload the index.php file in the browser to see the results. Nice! We see the products from the JSON file showing up in a table in our browser. And that's it guys! But before I say goodbye, I have another video for you. So if you want to know how to do the same thing but this time using JavaScript, check it out. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you like, see you in the next one.